Women in the United States seeking life-affirming medical care are starting to have options around the country where they can find comprehensive, high-quality treatments for all ages at pro-women's health care centers. Joining me now is Christine Accurso, Executive Director of the Consortium of Pro-Women's Health Care Centers. Welcome to the program. Thank you. First, before we begin, you have great fashion sense. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> Wearing the same covers. colors. For our viewers who may not be familiar with what you call PWHC, Pro-Women's Health Care Center, tell us, tell us about it. Well, it's a consortium of centers nationwide offered li offering life-affirming women's health care. And these providers have been doing this for decades. What does that mean? Yes, that means that they're, do they're offering health care that's to restore the body. So every woman from 9 to 99 years old, everybody can come and get great health care. I want to put up a map of the United States just to show our viewers where exactly these the PWHC centers are. Um, you have centers all across the country, but you're looking to to add. Tell us uh, where, how many you're adding, and how big you want it to become, how big you think it can become. Sure. We just launched this year. We have seven certified centers. We have five now in the application process, and we have over 100 people on a list to be able to add um, to even more. We want to be able to add them because women need the good identification of real women's health care and not the narrative that's owned by someone else in this country at this time. Oh, that would be Planned Parenthood, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, right? Yeah. So what you're saying is life-affirming. So if you come in as an OBGYN and say, I want to be part of this consortium, I'm going to get this gold stamp of approval that I can mm -hmm. put on my mm -hmm. shingle, what do they have to do? So this is all based on standards of care for women. Okay. So the standards speak to the woman's body, mind, and soul, the whole woman. And so therefore, there's a list of standards that are very comprehensive. And if you comply with every single one of those standards, you'll get the gold seal of approval. You don't require centers to be faith-based, however, uh, but much of the role is spiritual care, as you're talking about. How much um, does that play into this? Well, I don't think any healthcare prov provider would say that spiritual is not part of a human being's life. And so therefore that's the reason why the spiritual aspect needs to be identified. And what that means at each center is a little bit different. Definitely it's not faith-based, it's for everyone in the country who can comply with them. You're a practice administrator, so it means you administrate for an OBGYN group, Morningstar in Gilbert, Arizona. What do women who come in and use those services tell you? Mostly, I mean, and everyone who comes in says they really love the approach to healthcare. It's very personal and compassionate. Mm -hmm. And since we've been doing this consortium nationwide and uniting, we hear that from every center. You don't offer abortions, no, no pill, no. nothing related to uh, birth control. No. And this is a place where women can come and know that they are going to get the care that is life affirming. Right, very comprehensive, holistic, natural women's health care. Thank you, Christina Curso, Executive Director of Pro Women's Health Care Centers Consortium. Thank you, Lauren.